Hi everyone, welcome to practice problem IS-06. This one's going to be about performing financial statement analyses on the multi-step income statement. Let's take a look. All right, here you are given a bunch of information from the multi-step income statement of Flyer Core. The question is asking you, determine Flyer Core's gross profit rate and profit margin ratio. All right, take a moment, see if you can figure this out yourself. Whenever you're ready, come on back. I'll walk through the solution. All right, welcome back. So here we go. In order to solve gross profit rate and profit margin ratio, the first thing we need to do, we need to know is what exactly are those things? Like what mathematically, what do they represent? So the gross profit rate, or GPR as I'm gonna call it here, gross profit rate, is simply your gross profit divided by your net sales. And what this is essentially going to tell you about the company is once you account for the cost of sales, because if you think about gross profit, let me just go ahead and put that on there as well, gross profit itself equals net sales minus cost of goods sold. And then of course this is all over net sales. So what this is telling you is after you take out your cost of sales, how much of that sales revenue are you able to keep as a fraction of the total sales revenue? Now, if we look at our given information, were we given net sales? Well, we weren't. But we can calculate net sales because net sales at the end of the day is just your sales revenue minus any reductions to that sales revenue. Now, in this problem, so net sales equals sales rev which in this case was 200,000 minus any reductions to that revenue. Now we say reductions to that revenue, that is sales discounts or sales returns and allowances. I see discounts here of 20,000. And let's see, do we have any returns and allowances? Right down here at the bottom, sales RNA, 5,000. All right, so by that logic, we had 200,000 in revenue, minus 20 in discounts, minus 5,000 in RNA. That means we have net sales of $175,000. So going back to gross profit, and in fact, let me just um, bring this down here a minute. We'll kind of do it in reverse. All right, going back down to gross profit. Now we know that we have 175 minus COGS, over 175, right? Because we just calculated that net sales was 175. Now, the good news is COGS is given to us, $95,000. So I'm gonna replace COGS here with 95,000. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and pull out my calculator to do the math on this one. 175,000 minus 95,000 divided by 175,000 gives us approximately 40, I'm just going to round it, 46% gross profit rate. And what that tells us, more importantly than just being able to do the math, what that tells us about the company is they have a markup on their product of approximately 46%. When you subtract out the cost to the company to buy the product, they keep 46% of what they charge the customer. That's the markup from their original cost. All right. That brings us to profit margin ratio, what I'm going to just label over here as PMR. Profit margin ratio is very similar, except instead of dividing gross profit by net sales, we divide net income by net sales. Now, the difference here is gross profit is your net sales minus the cost of those sales. Your net income is your gross profit minus or plus any other costs or revenues you have in your business. So we need to do the math on this one. We already know that gross profit was 175 minus 95.
From there, we have to take out any other operating expenses of the company. And in fact, I guess I'll probably move this down because I imagine this will be a long line here. We have to take out any other operating expenses of the company. Now, at this point, what I'm going to do is, for the sake of making sure we don't miss anything, we use sales revenues, we use sales discounts, we use sales RNA. That got us to net sales, which is our 175. We've already got that baked in here. We used COGS. That's 95. Now we have to take out the other operating expenses of the company. So we have supplies expense at 14,000, rent expense at 18,000, depreciation expense at 15,000. Let's go ahead and mark those off. Those have been used. We have a utilities expense of 8,000. And that looks to be all the operating expenses in the problem. However, remember, we're going all the way to the bottom of the income statement, so it's not just a matter of taking out operating expenses. At this point, we are at something called income from operations, but we have to go even further. Now we have to add or subtract all of the non-operating gains and losses, revenues, and expenses. So non-operating, we have a gain of 5000 We have dividend revenue of 7500 We have an interest expense of 2000 that's our main non-operatings. That gets us to something called income before taxes. And then finally, we have a tax expense of $6,500. I'm just going to check these off to make sure I didn't miss anything. I have the gain of five. I have the revenue of 75. I have the expense of two. And I have the income taxes of 6,500. We have now used all of the given information. So if I get my calculator out and do the math on this, this should give us net income. So let's do it again, 175 minus 90. Nope, sorry, that was 95, minus 95, uh, minus 14, minus 18, minus 15, minus eight. These are all those operating expenses. Plus, we had some non-operating revenue, five and 75. We had a non-operating expense of two, and finally we had a tax expense of two, I mean of 6,500. Assuming I have entered all of that correctly, and I believe I have, that means $29,000 is our net income, okay? We've done all the math we need to do at this point other than a simple division. Remember, profit margin ratio is net income over net sales. So now I need to take that 29,000 in net income, divide it by that original net sale amount of 175. Remember, net sales, we calculated way back up here. 175,000. Do the math on that. Do, do, do. Comes out to approximately, I'm going to round up here, 17%. So what does this tell us about the company? More important than just being able to do the math, what do we learn from it? Well, if we compare to gross profit rate, what it says is we mark up our product by 46%, or we keep 46% of the revenue from selling product. However, by the time you account for all the other operating expenses of the company and all of the non-operating activities of the company and the taxes the company pays, what you actually get to keep at the end of the day is only 17% of what you charge the company. I mean, what you charge the customer. And actually, this is a, this is a really high number. Most companies would be probably happy with 17%. Um, but there you go. That's your two ratios. It's how you have to kind of break down figuring out how to calculate them based on a set of income statement info. And of course, most importantly, can you interpret what they are telling you about the company? All right, that's it for this one. I hope you found it helpful, and I hope you join me for another.